Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you something very easy, simple and fun to learn, okay? I'm going to show you how to make this a uh, cartoon is shape bomb in 3D, okay? If you on Google, can something the bomb like this, okay? So that's what we're going to make. So let's uh control N to make a new one. Don't save, I don't need it. And here we are in the power of the default cube, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna use the default cube, so I'm sorry, I have to delete. And the light and the camera as well. Actually, I can add that later, or I can just hide it, but whatever. Shift A to add. Use anything you want. Depends on what shape you want, depends on your liking. But what I made before, I used the UV sphere, okay? So I'm gonna zoom there, and I'm gonna go to edit mode, pressing tab. And let's go to here, okay? So this this part here is where I'm gonna delete the vertices, okay? I'm gonna go there, selecting like that. I actually press Alt, 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 and select, okay? Like this. It turns like that, okay? So I'm gonna go here. Oh, this one. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna press Delete vertices, okay? It should be deleting the upper one as well. Oh, it didn't actually. <laughs> so I'm gonna delete that vertices too. Okay, now we got something like that. Let's make sure we don't have doubles. Okay, we don't have doubles. Now let's go to here. Press E to extrude. Okay, and press Z. Okay, something over there. And scale it a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Let's say extrude and scale. Good there. Oh, that's too small. Okay, there we are. And let's press E to the Z, but go to below, okay? Something like that. And I'm gonna press E and scale. And the last part, I'm gonna just press F, okay? Now. We get the simple basic shape of our bomb over there. Okay, now we're gonna add the line. Instead of using these, I mean, I mean you can just extrude it and make the shape over like that. But we're gonna make this a separate one. Okay, I'm gonna use for the line. I'm gonna use the uh, the the curve. I'm gonna use the bezier. Okay, grab that to the Z up up. Press R. Rotate, uh, press Y, 90 degree, and rotate Z, 90 degree. You should get something like that, okay? Don't worry about moving it into the middle. It's already in the middle now. See? It's in the middle. There we go. Now, let's adjust some shapes. This one, grab that over there, rotate that over there. I'm going to make it some like cartoon funny shape. Something like that, okay. I think I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit. Yeah, okay, that would do. And now let's add some. Let's add, adjust the geometry on this. Go to here, okay. Object data property. Make sure you select this one, okay. Go here, go to geometry, and increase the depth. You can just hold here and go like that, or you can just press here. Oh, not that one, that's the animation this one okay so i'm gonna set back to zero and i'm gonna go to here one it's, i need a little bit thickness one more yeah that will do okay and don't forget fill the caps you can see it here it has some holes okay fill the caps you can fill it manually up to you So there we is. There it is, guys. A basic shape of the bomb. But not yet. Let's see here. That problem. Mm -hmm, no problem at all. It didn't it didn't have uh, attach with this one. So yeah, that's good. I press one. The front view. And let's shade smooth this one. Okay? Just shade smooth. And don't forget to enable the uh this one. Make sure you go to here, object data's property. Go to normal and auto smooth. 
should get something like that okay no need to adjust few more just something like that and this one as well you, you can't sh you can't shade smooth because this is not a mesh yet it's still a curve okay so right click make sure you select this one right click on it and go to convert to into mesh okay and now you can shade smooth actually it's already smooth but i want to smooth it again which is have no different but just a little bit okay so that's the basic shape of your bomb okay last part let's paint the bomb very easy to paint black and brown only okay this is the black go to here black or you can make it darker if you want the roughness well if you want to go like that then it's up to you i'm just gonna go just a little bit and this one just a little bit over there and for the what do you call this the line the fire starter the whatever if you want to go white then stay stay with white but i'm gonna go with something brownish brownish darkish okay because that's how i saw in the cartoon mostly of the time okay uh the roughness i don't think the line needs some roughness so i'm gonna go to there and the specular nope i don't need the specular as well okay so there it is guys the basic shape of your bomb if you want you can add some texture on it such as bomb making scratches or something like that and this one as well you can add some texture to make it something like more like line line shape okay okay so yeah that's our bomb over there and well that's all for today thanks for watching and i'll see you next time on the next tutorial okay now thanks for the short video bye now